G'day guys, I thought today we'd do a review of the Medieval Fight Club's Paladin Helmet. That's this one right here. Alrighty guys, so I was looking to invest in some really good quality kit and this is one of the items that I found and I really do like it. I bought a couple a couple of years ago and since then I've bought a bunch more. I like to be able to help my friends and my family out with uh, some good kit to be able to train in and this is something I really, uh, I think everyone really likes to train with. It's a very historically accurate helmet for sort of 13th and 14th century, especially in the Crusades, that kind of thing. I live here in Australia, so something like this perfect for me. Uh, you have a lot of area around the front on the face guard where you can maintain your breathing, but you also have that kind of space here where you can still find yourself not overheating, which obviously a lot of people can do. And wearing armor, and training in the heat of the summer um, can be very taxing on the body. This is a 14 gauge piece of kit um, and I really do like it. I think this is fantastic. It's, it's really good, suitable for M1 and SCA heavy combat. $236 is the list price for it. Internal circumference is 640 millimeters. External circumference is 700. Now obviously you do have left to right is 205 millimeters whilst front to back whilst front to back is 226 the height at the front is 280 millimeters whilst the height at the rear is 140 and the eye slits are 20 by 72 millimeters which I find really fantastic that's very historically accurate too not only does these provide you with good situational awareness because they're big enough for that but they're small enough to provide a lot of protection again very historically accurate and it weighs in at 2.95 kilos. Now that might sound heavy, but you do get a lot of protection for that. It's a very realistic helmet. You also have a lot of internal protection. You have this internal kind of padded coif, uh, which is part of the helmet. But it's sized so that, sized so you can actually wear it over a heavyweight padded coif, which again, you're going to be doing in realistic training. I train as I would fight, so I train in armor quite a lot. And uh, I find this is a, a really good piece of kit to wear. Righto guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's video. Please like, subscribe and share. I'll catch you in my next video.